Hello guys, we are back once again at Route 110 at those two light sets and you can see here they have been activated and I'm actually here with a friend again once today, I am here with Jay <laughs> and uh, if you remember last time when I was here I said that the new set was up and they hadn't activated it yet but now here it is uh, all complete and um, as I said you can see that the left turns now are RYG instead of yield on green, as I expected it was going to be, because they, they're really doing that a lot now. Um, and everything else is pretty good. There's no back plates on this set, which is nice. So it's, um, gives it, it's much, you know, you, it doesn't get hit by wind as much as I'm trying to say. And I think this is, I think these two sets, you know, the one down there, I think they're both still in timed mode because, uh, there's no, there's no detectors that have been set up yet for the, uh, lanes because they're still doing all the drainage work, as you can see. But uh, it cycles really well. The green arrow is on for a decent amount of time. You can see it turn green right there. And it uh, allows the cars to go. You know, it's not the longest thing, but I'm sure once the, the detectors are in and everything, they can probably adjust it to make it longer and uh, allow more cars to go. I just want to let that truck go by so there's not too much noise. And on the uh, pole over there, you can see uh, the, uh, there's a security camera on there, and the um, you, uh, you can kind of see the antenna on there. It's not the most visible thing, but uh, again, I think those are for synchronization or something. I'm not really sure, but it makes the most sense to me. And, as the, and you can also see on the uh, on the side street there, uh, there's now 12-inch lights instead of the 8-inch, like I thought they were going to do. They, they don't really use 8-inch lights that much anymore, I guess because you know they're not as visible or something. These are easier to see. But I'm just really happy to see a span set, because I know Nassau County thing does things differently, but Suffolk is still doing them like this, I'm happy to see, so... Overall, it looks good, you know, it's doing what it has to. Um, since this is an activation video, maybe I'll get another cycle shot for you. Once they both turn green again, we can uh, continue on to the next one. And I can't really show you much of the side street, unfortunately, because it has tunnel visors now instead of the cap visors, so it kind of hides the light more. But, um... It's okay, it does what it's supposed to. <laughs> and yeah, there's no more cars on the side, tr side street, so th this is definitely still in timed mode. It'll be uh, probably be a while before they put it to detection mode again. And thankfully it's cloudy today, because if it wasn't, there'd probably be a lot of, uh, probably getting some wind noise right there, there'd probably be a lot of uh, sun glare right now. And yeah, there it goes, it's uh, doing well. All right, guys, and here's this one, so it looks good and uh, works well, so let's head to the other set and continue from there. All right, guys, and here we are. We're at the second light set now. Uh, you can see all activated. Everything is uh, looking good. You can see on top there's the, uh, the, the no U-turn sign. If you remember, that was on the old set on the upper cable, and it was moved over to this new one. I kind of like when they do that, when they can keep using road signs instead of just replacing them. And you can see the left turn is RYG instead of yield on green, as I expected, because that's how the state's doing their lights now, or the left turns, I should say. What's interesting is um, you can also see that the side street and the parking lot has the 12-inch uh, has the uh, 12 -inch lights, and it still has the right turn arrows, as you can see, so I'm happy to see that. Um, but what's interesting is I noticed that they're using the tunnel visors. I don't know if there's a reason for that, or if maybe that's just because that's just how the lights came, how they were made or whatever. And uh, right now this is, has a custom setup of sorts. What I mean by that is there's currently no left turn allowed for the opposite direction because um, when they started the drainage work, they had to rip up the uh, old left turn lane that was there. So right now there's currently no left turns. So when the cycle is green again, you'll see that both the mains and the turn signal will turn green because there's no, <clears throat> excuse me, there's no uh, left turn permitted at the, on the other direction. But overall, you can see it just, you know, it works great. It's, it's a span, you know I like that, and um, everything is uh, going well. Again, like the other sets, this one's currently in timed mode because uh, with, the rate, with the way that the road is set up, there's no way to get a uh, detectors in right now, so they have to set it up the best they can. I may make another video here, I'm not sure, when they finish all when they finish all this drainage work here, you know, see how the lanes look, how the road looks and everything. I may or I may not, I'm not gonna make any guarantees on that, but uh, just overall, you can see it's um, working great. There's another uh, there's another security camera on top of the pole, or near, near the top of the pole, as you can see. And on top, you can see there's the uh, antenna I told you about. So, like I said, probably for synchronization. 
and overall it just it works great you know Every, it cycles well it um lets cars go it doesn't really back them up too much even though it's in time mode so overall it's good i'm just really happy to see that another span set up you know <laughs> just one of my favorites and i guess that's it guys uh Maybe we'll let it go red here, and then, or maybe we'll do another cycle video if you want, since this is an activation video. And you know, yeah, why not? Why not? We'll, we'll do another act. We'll do another um, cycle, and then after that, we can call it a video. Someone's blasting some music in their car. Sounds like Michael Jackson, I think, but I'm not sure. Um, it's uh, it's going. You know what? I just remembered. There's actually one more thing I want to show you guys when this does its cycle. Uh, something I got from one of the old poles, believe it or not, uh, from the uh, first lights that I just showed you previously. Uh, we'll let this turn green again, and then I'll show it to you in a minute. And there it goes, all three. And let that truck go by, as always. Okay. What I, what I want to show you guys here is, um, I got one of these nuts right here from the old pole. And just look at the size of that. I mean, tr try to think of the scale of your hand or whatever, okay? And I mean, just look how huge this thing is. You can t really tell how it holds the pole to the base anchor really well. It's just absolutely amazing. I mean, this is this is pure quality metal right here, man. Hopefully new metal is just as good, you know? But I mean, that's this is pretty huge. It's amazing just how... Um, how huge these things are, and it probably takes a lot of effort to get them in and out of the, in and out of the uh, ground, you know, to install them and remove them. You can probably see what I mean by that, but... Hey right, guys, I think we can call it a video there. Uh, everything's good, everything's running well, and that's it, guys, alright? So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you later, okay? Uh, take care.